see in the limelight of Nigeria before we move to other questions and everything and all that it's been on the news about the returning of the Chibo girls. Is it really for real right now? Because we've heard of the Chibo girls returning for several times in the news. Is this for real? Yeah, it is for real. Okay. Twenty one girls have just returned, one returned earlier, so twenty two. Very few, but that's just about ten percent of all the missing girls. Oh, okay. Only ten percent. But 10% is still a percentage. Oh, 21 returned? Yes. Okay. Are they in good conditions and all that? No, of course. I'm sure they have all been raped and all that. One came back uh, with a child and maybe another one is pregnant and they have all been, you know, they are in bad shape. But the fact that they came back alive right. and that if was those ones came back and they said more will be coming back, uh, I think we all should remove our caps for the president. And we should just give him a salute, a very big recognition. I mean, the fact that, and the ones that have been criticizing this president, they are allowing this bathroom, and I'm mean, sorry, living room comment and something to overshadow the great victory for all Nigerians in the ship of girls. And I think that is much more important, this situation with the ship of girls. And as we, you know, we should give credit to whom credit is due, okay. and give honor to whom honor is due that. You know, all Nigerians, no matter what party affiliation people have, they're supposed to recognize the fact that, you know, this man has been here only for one year or one and a half years, less than two years, and has been able to deal with that situation. And the president and the government that was there before, under whose auspices this thing happened, was not able to do anything. And, you know, and, you know, they had more time, the more opportunity to do that, but they couldn't do it. So, and I think that, uh, you know, the fact that he's prosecuting people, who were giving money to, and the military people who were based with that money, and who are responsible for those girls not being found on time, because if the money has been you know, used to look for them or to fight Boko Haram, maybe we would have gotten the girls now. But, and it's prosecuted those ones. They were never prosecuted or charged, even the other government. So this, and then now, the Boko, Boko Haram is virtually defeated, because they used to control some local governments before. They don't have any local government that they control now. They're still doing some bombing, like terrorism, but th that is happening all over the world. So that the fact that this is a big government with a difference is going to take super bias not to notice it and not to give credit to this government. 